Over the past few days, we've been telling you about the murder of a 14-year-old boy shot to death at the Brooklyn Catholic University Metro Station. And a 16-year-old oh has now been charged in that killing. But we have also learned the family of Avion Evans has lost two other sons to murder in the district. And today, we wanted to... Bingo. Bingo. Oh, dude. Wait, those are separate killings or all in one? No, separate killings. Of oh, one. my gosh. Wait, wait, are you nothing su surprises wait, me. Wait, are you surprised? Wait, no way you're surprised. We've seen this plenty of times. <laughs> But fuck, like three, like even that, you got to admit, it's highly improbable. Like, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Nah, there's a, nah, there's a, no, 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 that's, 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 uh, that's, in New not, Orleans, that's they had that one, in New Orleans, they had that one woman who lost three sons in three individual yeah, shootings, and then she true. went down for Mardi Gras and got smoked herself. Man, we've seen oh, that woman got killed. That yeah. woman got killed. Yeah, she got shot. I mean, I know we talk shit here at Ock Nation, but like, come on, three? That's fucking, like, that's... I think that tops this one. No, no, let me say this. Let me let me say this. This is, like, I'm I'm from the sun. I'm from Black... I'm a Black Pakistani. This is, like, not normal. Like, sons get killed a lot, yes. But for one father to lose three sons is it's not normal like let's stop acting like that happens all the time that doesn't we, happen all yeah. no we've seen it plenty of times though I, we yeah it, it times. happens but it's, it's it's still it's still noteworthy it's noteworthy it's, man i don't know it's, you it's a <laughs> lot it's a lot but yeah i mean the only thing only place where it's happening with this kind of frequency yeah is, the so. only people yeah the only way it's happening it, even say if that does right happen is a sunburst <laughs> fair all right that's a fair statement yeah yeah this this is this is a definitely a son thing, but like nah, this don't happen all the time now. Now could I see cousins and shit like that? Yeah, yeah definitely without a doubt. Knowing somebody percent over the past few days, we've been telling you about the murder of a 14-year-old boy shot to death at the Brooklyn Catholic University Metro Station, and a 16-year-old has now been charged in that killing. But we have also learned the family of Avion Evans has lost two other sons to murder. But you know what? Let me let me change that because here's the thing: brothers have kids all over the city. Yeah, different mothers. Yeah, so we, yeah. It, it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you it's, it's, you now, if, it was, if this was all three by the one mother, right? I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think yeah. about that. Often. True. But if this is just different baby mamas, then yeah, yeah, that could happen. It could happen. Okay. Murder in the district, and today we wanted to revisit that startling fact with the family. Our Bob Barnard is live in Northeast right now with more on their story. Bob? Hey there, Angie. Mari. This is just really hard to wrap your head around. Three brothers murdered in the district. Two of them shot to death. One of them stabbed. Two of them at metro stations. I asked now that, my father. <laughs> that's crazy. What? To lose two sons at metro stations. I'll give you that, Wicked. That's bananas. Yo, I mean, I've heard it happen. Yo, no. bo both my sons was killed at different bus shootings. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I've heard John Evans. Yeah, you're from happened. Chicago, though, man. That's different. Yeah, that's true. Dad, two of them at metro stations. I asked their father, John Evans, this afternoon, how do you make sense of this family's incredible loss? I don't make sense. I have to keep moving on because I still got three kids i still got grants yeah you right Jeez. you definitely right about that God one damn yo yo this reminds me of uh of Fabian. remember yeah, what you said about is... like like organic uh self like losing a kid is kind of like an organic way of like population what did he call that shit? it was like k mating strategy yeah, yeah population strategy. control our yeah. mating strategy and k mating strategy they they we mm -hmm. we we mate for um volume and quantity whereas um other groups more tend to mate for quality they they have they have, they have children and they pour into those children and they want that child to be something where we make we just have a bunch of children and whoever makes it makes it kind of like puppies and shit you know what i'm saying or chicklets, you know what I'm saying? Like a, you know what I'm saying? Some of them gonna die. Some if a if a bird has a nest, some of them birds gonna not make it. If an alligator has a bunch of babies, some of them alligators gonna get eaten by bullfrogs and shit. And some of them gonna get eaten by, you know what I'm saying, groupers, but a, a, some of them will make it. Yeah, it's called R and K selection theory. You learn it like grade 10 biology. Mm. 
Okay. R and K. Yeah, but we don't think about it for sons. We think about it for like coyotes and fucking bunnies. Yeah, bunnies. Yeah, they know that. Expand your mind. Yeah, like and listen, man. He, it just it, it is what it is, man. If that's the case, let's just say that that's the case. To quote Scott Adams, there is no fixing this. Well, it doesn't need to be fixed. It's working how it's supposed to for the Savannah Plains. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it's working well here too, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't need to be It's not broken. It's, this is just what it is. Yeah, so, man. I have to. I'm just functioning, man. You know, just functioning. John Evans has lost three sons to murder in the district. Three brothers, all killed here in Northeast DC over the past eight years. We asked. <sighs> Do they look the same? Is this the same mom? What's the consensus? No. 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 <laughs> Yo, I can't even... These two, these two, man. The two of the... Yeah, I agree. The middle guy, he imagine. seems like he's out, though. Yeah, he looked like he was... He was killing himself. Yo, I can't even <laughs> imagine this shit, though. Like, I can't even this imagine... This one, though, this one right here, we did his story, I think. I think this is the one was walking to his fucking job by the subway station. Yeah! He said subway station. Yup. Walk into his job by the subway station. They got a subway station. I used to live actually at that subway station. They had a um, mixed use high rise there, and I lived in that high rise. And um, he was walking from the subway station, like across the bus lines, are a bunch of stores. He worked at one of those stores, and some sun men pulled up on him, and a car hopped out. And tried to rob for his tennis shoes and ended up killing him right there at wow. like four o'clock in the afternoon. We did that story. Yeah, yeah, we did. Stranger, a man stopping for food, saw kids in trouble and stepped in to break things up. Well, tonight he is recovering from a gunshot wound. News Force Jackie Benson has an update on the double shooting that put this good Samaritan in the hospital and left a teenager dead. 17-year-old Antonio Cunningham is one of the two teenagers the 56-year-old man noticed as he was driving. Look at this area. Like, I, th I think you guys are going to at, at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. The DMV is right here. So if you, if no, the DMV is right here. Salatai, Chipotle's down this way. Um, A gym, like little gym thing is here. There's a Carolina Kitchen restaurant down here. The subway station is like in the distance, like right here, maybe like 20 yards from where these guys are standing. Bus depot, subway station. All these cars are people that are going to and fro. Um, this Jersey Mike's is over here. Um so many restaurants and businesses and things are right here. And at four o'clock, when all the everybody gets off of work and out of school, this place is Manhattan. And listen to what happened. 17-year-old Antonio Cunningham is one of the two teenagers the 56-year-old man noticed as he was driving into the Rhode Island Row commercial area about 4.30 p.m. Monday. He later told his wife he sensed something very bad was about to happen. He had just parked his truck, he said, when a black SUV or van or something pulled up right next to him without parking and three gentlemen got out with face masks on. Family members tell News 4 Antonio Cunningham was walking in to start his shift at Jersey Mike Subs. They describe him as a motivated, hard worker, one of six children. Tammy says when her husband... One of Three, one, and it's three left. It's three of them left. Correct. His shift at Jersey Mike Subs, they describe him as a motivated, hard worker, one of six children. Tammy says when her husband saw the men in masks shove Antonio and the other teen up against the store's plate glass window, he instinctively intervened. He tried to call out first to act like he knew the boy so that the, hopefully they would stop. And the guy was asking, who are you? And he was trying to get them to leave the kids alone. And the guy asked me again, who are you? And before, without even warning, he just turned and shot him. 
Tammy says her husband, even while being treated for a gunshot wound, wanted to know if the teens were okay. He was heartbroken to learn Antonio Cunningham did not survive, but gratified to learn the second young man apparently and made it. Home its- Depot is right here. There's a Home Depot right here. There's a TD Bank. Right behind this TD Bank is the Home Depot. And then over here is a Safeway. No, Giant. A Foot Locker. Um, s- s- Shoe City. TG Maxx. Like, this is a mall and this is a mall. Two malls next to each other. Bustling Metro Center. Bus Depot. This place at 4 o'clock is bustling with people. And these more if this happened there. There's no solutions, man. There's no, what could that guy have done? His kid's working at Jersey Mike's. He's walking to work. He's got some nice tennis shoes on. And some people in an SUV pull up in a high-density area. A guy tries to intervene and save them. Wait, I thought the tennis shoes was the other kid. No, this kid got killed. This kid, shoes. okay. This is the, his brother just got killed. His brother was fighting, and some guy who wasn't involved with the fight just shot his brother, shot, shot him for no reason. Huh. Says when her husband saw the men in masks shove Antonio and the other teen up against the store's plate glass window, he instinctively intervened. He tried to call out first to act like he knew the boys so that the, hopefully they would stop. And the guy was asking, who are you? And he was trying to get them to leave the kids alone. And the guy asked him again, who are you? And before, without even warning, he just turned and shot him. Tammy says her husband, even while being treated for a gunshot wound, wanted to know if the teens were okay. He was heartbroken to learn Antonio Cunningham did not survive, but gratified to learn the second young man apparently made it to safety. She says she asked her husband not to risk his safety like that again, and that his answer was what she expected. He automatically gets involved. He, he just, he believes we have to do something, otherwise they get away with it. There are some security cameras in this commercial residential complex, but it is not clear whether they have provided police with some useful information. In Northeast, Jackie Benson, News 4.